What's up ladies and gents, boys and girls, it's HG Dan here and today we are looking at the top 5 S's that you need to avoid in Stranded Deep and how you can overcome those things. So let's get into it. Hello ladies and gents, boys and girls, yes welcome back and as mentioned we are going to go through the top 5 S's that you need to be aware of while playing Stranded Deep and how to get around them. Now these 5 S's, coincidentally, they all begin with S, but they are just things that you generally need to be switched on and know how to deal with and keep an eye out for if you're new to the game or possibly you just haven't straight up considered. Uh, now those of you that are veterans to the game, this video might not be for you as it is quite basic things that we're going to be covering here and how to look after yourself so let's get into the five s's number one sharks i imagine you uh knew that one was coming number two snakes again pretty obvious not so obvious number three is sea urchins number four the sun now that goes for uh for real life in fact all of these probably go for real life as well and number five my favorite the shits no word of a lie, diarrhea is a major issue, but I could have called it diarrhea, but the four S's and a D doesn't quite sound right. We're not going to go into that any further. We're going to move on. So looking at number one, sharks. Now there's no real way to avoid sharks. They're going to be there. They're going to come and say hi, and they're going to want to eat your face. All of these things you need to come to accept. But the good thing to do is always have your head on a swivel while you're going around in the water. Good little bit of a uh, tip, the music will change the minute a shark has caught your scent. If you do hear that music, get to safety as quickly as you can. Now it might be straight up, it might be back to your raft, it might be back to the be uh, beach even. Uh, it might be that you need to go into a shipwreck and try and get away from it. Now, sharks are obviously, they're gonna hurt you if you're in the water. Later on down the line, once you've got a little bit more uh, experience, you can learn how to deal with the sharks and such. Uh, and you can even kill the sharks and use their meat for food and such. Something to be aware of is they can be quite a useful resource, but I wouldn't go about attacking them straight off right at the beginning. If you hear that music changing, you're in the water, get yourself to safety. Apart from that, always have your head on the swivel and keep an eye out for them. Spot them before they spot you. Now, number two and number three, we're going to kind of roll into one. The reason being is they both poison you. Now, snakes both from the land and from the sea can obviously bite you which will give you poisoning but also the sea urchins if you step on one they can give you poisoning as well now the sea urchins look like this as you can see a couple of examples of a sea urchin here um, if you step on them they can give you that bad day now there is one thing you can do and that is create an antidote now you do know the antidote from the very beginning if you go to your consumables you can see create a coconut flask and then you need to find this glorious little plant uh, the pee pee plant love the name love the fact that it's bright yellow it stands out quite nicely in the sun when you land on an island and you can see the yellow in the distance ah glorious pick it find it if you have to drop off of resources to pick it up do so this is a lifesaver ladies and gents this is a lifesaver you want to make sure that you've got some of this ready to go with an antidote just in case your guard drops you get surprised by a snake or something like that you fall off for whatever reason of your boat you jump straight onto a sea urchin whatever it is poisoning is going to eventually kill you the sooner that you can get the antidote the sooner you don't have to worry about your health being drained now if you are enjoying this video then please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you know when there's more videos coming out from me also if one of these tips helped save you in stranded deep or you like them in particular i know which one i do it's still coming up number five then make sure to drop it in the comments below and tell me what your favorite is. 
So moving on to number four, the sun. Now the sun has a number of ways of telling you when you've got too much UV exposure. One, your watch will start beeping at you and when you have a look, your UV exposure will be through the roof. Two, your skin will start glowing like my logo. Bright red. Now there is a couple of ways to get around this. What you can do is either jump into the water take a bit of a swim, cool off, find some shades under some trees if you haven't already chopped them down, or take shelter in your shelter. Now we have already covered shelters in my top five things to build first video, which you can see in the top right corner here. And go check that out if you haven't already seen it. But it is one of the easiest ways to deal with the sun. Now, when it does get to around midday, obviously that is when the sun is at its highest, it's when it's at its hottest. Maybe you can do some construction in your hut. Do have a look at what you want. Do have a look around, see if that's something you can do. If you are landing on an island for the first time, can you quickly throw up a shelter? Now that you've built one before, possibly, you know, you can quickly throw another one up to just give you that extra bit of shade. Now it's very much worth while yes that is English <laughs> no it's not anyway it is worth doing that's what I'm trying to say it is worth doing so do make sure to um, get a structure up and built and running uh, so you can take shelter from those burning hot rays now we're moving on to number five in this list and possibly my favorite because I found out the hard way <sighs> Cue the clip. Oh. Fucking hell. Oh my god. I met. I think that's. I think that's Darwin. <laughs> Do you see my fucking water drain out of that? Oh my god. I don't want to know. I'm glad it's night time. I don't want to... Yes, that's right. The shits. Or diarrhoea. Uh, I've called it the other word because it's just easier and it goes with five S's. Um, but yeah, here you, can, here you can clearly see the effect that diarrhoea has. As I say in the clip, that water and the hydration, it literally drains out of you. I mean, literally, that's literally what's happening right now when that happens. This is really easy to fall into, this one. It's just too much coconut consumption. I found this out starting off in the game. I was drinking coconut milk. I was eating coconuts. They were my one source of water and food. And then all of a sudden I get hit with this truck. Boom. There it is can't do that because what will happen is you'll get diarrhea and then you'll get dehydrated and then you'll die true fact it happened live on stream in front of loads of people so just be aware of that one now the thing to get around this is again that video top five things to build first in there i talk about a water still I'll get that water still up and running in fact it's one of my golden tips build one on every island now it's always worth taking some materials to be to build a water still on an island with you on your trip oh, reason being if they don't have the materials on that island you haven't got any water you're going to need that water there, there's bound to be a way on that island that you can stock it up with fibrous leaves or palm leaf fronds or, or palm leaves or or something along those lines so you haven't got to worry about a source of getting that water you just need to worry about building it if you get on the island and there's no cloth you're in trouble there's no water for you you're going to get dehydrated so how do you get around that dehydration? Well, the easiest thing, obviously, is to drink. If you do have your water still set up, and you should do, then make sure that you have uh, some water there and then before any dehydration effects actually grab hold of you. And the other thing to do is to just make sure that you've got a fishing spear, go get a sardine, go get some meat into your body from a campfire or the smoker. If you've built one of the other things on the list, I'll link up again in the video 
<laughs> uh, I swear this video is not just for plug-in purposes. Anyway, moving on, uh, is just make sure you get some other food source into you so it's not just purely coconuts. Creating a uh, fishing spear is really simple, really easy. Just go get some sardines, there'll be some around the coast, the um, edge of your island, and then you can just skin it and cook it on the fire. Or crab. Crabs do great. Crab meat is wonderful in this game. I don't like it personally, but in this game, perfect. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. That is the end of the video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and do comment your favorite tip below if any of these have helped you. Now, there are a couple of other videos going to the channel. Make sure to check them out. If you haven't already watched the top five video, I'm going to make sure that it's on this end card here. Go check it out if you, have, if you haven't seen it. And I will see you in the next video.